Your stomach is growling. And off in the distance, you smell the pungent odor of tonight's meal in your college cafeteria. Leftover meatloaf, yum yum! No longer must you rely on the college to feed your belly. It's time to take matters into your own hands. Stomach, rather. It's time to use your microwave. No, no, silly. The microwave isn't used to stand on and hunt for food. By putting food in the microwave and cooking it, you can create your own masterpieces. This movie will offer you various tips and a couple of recipes to make three typical college dishes in the microwave. Pop-tarts, popcorn, and ramen. Microwaves differ from brand to brand, but all temperatures for these three recipes in this movie were done with the microwave power set to high. So strap on, push start, and let's get microwaving! Please note that all tips and recipes are subject to your own culinary taste. Play around, get creative, and you'll find your own microwavable flair. The microwave oven was invented by Dr. Percy Spencer in 1946. Since then, it has been an invaluable appliance in every kitchen and dorm room because of its convenience and quick cooking. It works by sending microwaves, which are actually radio waves, through the foods. They are absorbed by water, fats, and sugars, turning that energy into heat. But enough with the science! I'm starving! Let's jump right into our first recipe. Behold, the ultimate quick college meal. The Pop-Tart. First, you'll want to make sure you take the Pop-Tarts out of the package. If you cook them in the package, you might bring your dorm into fiery oblivion, and that's just not a good way to make friends. Next, place either one or both of the Pop-Tarts on a paper towel and set on high for about 9 to 12 seconds. Be careful not to burn your mouth when eating them, because the icing inside may be hot. Enjoy! If you plan on cooking something that has a cover over it, such as a meal inside microwave-safe Tupperware, make sure you leave a small area uncovered so the steam won't get trapped and burn you when you take the container out the microwave. Microwave popcorn is a college classic snack. It can also be a challenge at times to make because it is so easy to burn. The most important thing to do when making microwave popcorn is to watch the time and to listen to the popping. Set the popcorn to the lowest time it gives on the instructions on the bag. When the popping slows to about one to two second intervals between popping, stop the microwave. You may lose some potential popcorn kernels, but some popcorn is better than a bag full of burnt popcorn. Enjoy! Do not use containers made of metal or that have metal pieces. Microwaves bounce off metal, which may cause a fire. In some cases, recipes call for the use of aluminum foil. This is okay, as long as the instructions are followed very carefully. Finally, we come to the closest to a meal a student may be able to cook in a dorm room. Ah, the warm aroma of ramen noodle soup. No, we won't be cooking the cup of noodles. We're going for the whole brick. You'll want to make sure you have the following materials. One bag of ramen noodle soup in the flavor of your choice, a microwave-safe bowl, a spoon, two cups of water, and of course, your handy dandy microwave. It's time to bring out that math. One pint equals two cups, so the size of a typical bottle of water should do the job. Pour the two cups of water into the bowl. Preheat it for about a minute on a high power setting. While the water is heating up, crush the bag of ramen with your hands. Squash it up so there aren't any large chunks. But try not to pierce the bag so you won't lose any of your precious meal. When the water finishes heating, open the bag of ramen, take out the seasoning packet, and pour just the noodles in the bowl. Place the bowl back in the microwave, cooking it for about a minute and a half on a high setting. Once that finishes, stir the ramen up and put it back in the microwave for another minute and a half, once again on a high setting. After this finishes cooking, Pour the contents of the seasoning packet in the bowl and stir it up. You can try tasting the ramen now or put it back in the microwave for up to another minute on a high setting. Once this finishes, your meal is prepared. Please give it about a minute to cool down so you don't burn yourself. Enjoy! Try not to heat liquids for too long inside the microwave. If you are following a recipe, stick to the times they give. Heating liquids for too long can cause what is known as superheating which can result in explosion of the liquid if moved or stirred with another object. 
The most important thing about microwave cooking is experimentation. Feel free to modify any of these recipes to make your own snacks or meals to appease the bellies of your friends and gain the reputation as master of the microwave. Just try not to blow anything up.